I'm also not trying to validate the point that I'm trying to get across and take away from anybody else's experience. Mayor Adams is expanding a curfew for migrant shelters. Four of the migrants accused of beating a migrant robbery ring plaguing New York. We're back now with a record number of migrants crossing into the U.S. Tonight, the border crisis surging. Tonight, thousands of migrants. Let's find out what's going on. Me, bodega workers are dealing with New Yorkers hand to hand on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm making a video for school and I have a question to ask you. I'm not gonna show your face, but I'm just gonna use your voice. Do you think all over the news you see the, that the migrant crisis is crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy? Has it affected you personally in any way? Personally, not. I haven't affected me personally. Like that's how a lot of people talk, like, I'm in the store, so, like, you deal with talk. Thank you. And they, they tell me, like, oh, it's, I mean, mainly in the news, I don't know how, if it's that bad in person. Like, like, uh, I have the cops. Yeah. They tell me, like, they tell me about the crimes and stuff, and I haven't, like, experienced it personally, so I can't really tell how bad it is. Like, there's probably a few cases, but I don't know if it's, uh... It hasn't affected you personally, though. Or anybody you know. Yeah, me neither. That's, that's the point that I'm trying to make. If there's a story to buy, there's going to be somebody there to supply it and somebody there to sell it. So just keep all that out in mind. New York City is still the greatest city or the shittiest city to live in, depending on what your view of a great or shitty city is. So not much has changed for us real New Yorkers or real New York City residents at least.